Good afternoon. I'm Dave Percy here at the National Weather Service in Anchorage, Alaska with Sunday's Alaska statewide weather. A little pressure moved to the roughly western Prince William Sound uh, during the day today and that brought uh, anywhere from four to eight inches of snow to areas of south central Alaska with heavier amounts up in the Susitna Valley approaching uh, 15 inches toward the Alaska Range. Winter storm warning is out for the Susitna Valley until 6 p.m. Sunday evening and winter storm warnings are also out tonight uh, for the Upper Tanaw Valley, Fairbanks area and uh, 40 mile country until 3 p.m. on Monday for more heavy snow and also winter storm warning is in effect till 6 p.m. this evening for the west central interior. Otherwise, uh, look for uh, rain and wind on the increase along the south, along the coast of the Panhandle today. As that front moves in, it'll weaken and the gale force winds will begin to diminish and rainfall amounts won't be as heavy after midnight as they will be this evening with uh, winter storm warnings for Klondike Highway, Haines up to Skagway for heavy snow and gusty winds. Snow will taper off two showers with gusty northwest winds will continue to increase from Kodiak Island across the Barrens into uh, Cook Inlet and south central Alaska, Kenai Peninsula. Uh, winds could gust 40 miles an hour later tonight toward morning for Seward and Resurrection Bay. Then winds will diminish on Monday as a high pressure ridge shifts over the central interior for mostly sunny skies and cooler temperatures from Kodiak Island will see much lighter winds. They'll extend northward to the Brooks Range as snow slowly tapers off over toward the eastern border, Copper River Basin. And low pressure will keep it unsettled with rain over the southern panel, chance of snow in the north, but winds will be light and a strong storm system or brings storm force winds, snow and blowing snow to the Seward Peninsula. Snow changes to rain for St. Lawrence Island on Monday and a mixture of precipitation and gusty winds to 50 miles an hour move into the southwest interior. And the outlook for Tuesday, another uh, front comes and swings up into the southwest coast for possible gale force winds and periods of rain. Rain and snow possible for the Yukon Delta across Norton Sound to the southern uh, Seward Peninsula and into the interior. Snow just south of the Brooks Range will be light. High pressure will make for uh, light winds and mostly clear skies for the Panhandle as well as much of uh, the Copper River Basin, south central Alaska. But clouds will increase late in the day over southern Cook Inlet with a chance of rain. With Alaska statewide weather.